Mr. Speaker, thank you. At this time, I yield two minutes to the gentleman from New York who was instrumental in working with us to craft this bill, Congressman Higgins. The gentleman from New York is recognized for two minutes. I thank the gentleman for yielding. Mr. Speaker, I'm pleased to join my colleagues in support of 3371, the Airline Safety and Pilot Training Improvement Act of 2009. I especially want to thank my colleagues from Western New York, Congressman Chris Lee and Congresswoman Louise Slaughter. On February 12th, 50 lives were lost when Continental Connection Flight 3407 crashed into a house in Clarence, New York, five miles from the Buffalo Niagara International Airport. Earlier this year, I said that the devastation felt and the aftermath of this tragedy can never be undone. This was an avoidable tragedy, and we owe it to the families of the victims and to all air passengers to learn from this experience and change the system to improve flight safety. This bill will start to do that. The Airline Safety and Tr Pilot Training Improvement Act of 2009 will address the many factors that caused the crash of Flight 3407. The bill would require all commercial pilots to obtain airline transport pilot's license, which requires a minimum of 1,500 flight hours. It requires the FAA uh, to ensure that pilots are better trained to recover from stalls, and it would create a database to provide access to pilots' comprehensive records. The bill also establish new risk management plans to reduce pilot fatigue and to enhance pilot training for flying in inclement weather, including icing conditions. This legislation dramatically improves upon the safety of our airways. However, 